Yo, it's your boy Lil Heat tapping in, and today we watching Follow My Recipe on Cinematic TV. Today we're gonna be cooking my signature hot Cheeto heated cheeseburger and some tropical punch Kool-Aid to wash it down with. Now you gotta cut. You gotta cut your food up. It is nice flimsy in here. Cut you some lettuce too. Get you a little sandwich. Your next step, you're gonna get your ground beef, you're gonna put it in a bowl and you're gonna mix it with your lip. And you know how to mix it up anyway. I'm from the South. Slap away. Oh, I learned how to cook probably in the kitchen watching my mama. If it's nasty the first time, I'll just try again. Like that. That's all. Next, you gotta put you, put you some black pepper in there. Put your little sea salt in there. Now you gotta mix it up together. Make sure you get all up in there. Like get a little massage. Oh, my first thing to cook when I'm at home, probably some noodles or something like that, something fast. I ain't gotta prep up. You ain't gotta do nothing but put the water in the boiler, sit it on the oven. Then just let it on, I mean, sit on the stove, be proper. Sit it on the stove, then just let the water heat up. Then when it start boiling, you just drop the noodles in there. That's something real fast and quick. All the noodles I like making, I like chicken. Cause I like to dry them in hot sauce. All right, your next step, now you gotta get your patties ready. So now you wanna get your ground beef, you wanna mix it up together and smush it till you get your patty. You can throw it back and forth so it can even out and just get flat. You ain't gotta really do too much, you just push it down when you finna cook it. Make you about, about three or four on. Get your burger spot, I probably say I like Burger King or McDonald's. That's all we got, for real. We ain't got nothing else like that, like that. Now we're gonna go to the next step. We're gonna prep the buns for you. First, you wanna get your egg and go crack it so you can get right with that. You gotta make it stick on there. Make sure you stir it up real good. Get all the yolk out. Look at the flick of that wrist. <laughs> all right, and your next step, you're gonna crunch your Cheetos up. Make sure you get them real crunchy though. Sprinkle your crumbs on the plate. That's why I call it the flaming heated cheeseburger. I had to give it that title. But your next step, you're gonna glaze your bun with some uh, with some egg. So you can make sure that the Cheetos stick to it. You might have to mush it down though, make sure it stick to it. When you preheated the oven to 375, your next step would be to put your buns in there. You're gonna sit them in there about five minutes till they about get brown, real nice. Make sure you don't burn yourself, man. Don't play with fire, you get burnt. Now your next step would be to go, go and get your burgers right. So you're gonna go and start off, I put it on about one. Low heat, start off real low. Drop, you're gonna have to drop you some butter in there. Now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna draw one pattern on there at a time. First I'm gonna draw one right there. You can get your pile about four, five in there. You can't just come in the kitchen playing around just like you can't go in that booth playing around. You gotta be focused, for shit sure. I ain't wanna take your bread out. Make sure you mash them down and spread them out so they won't get stuck together. And they get to sit it in up. Yeah, I mean, they're cooking. Now you wanna flip them over. This is gonna be my second one. My second time making the project. Every time I drop, though, I put my little time and effort in it, so I'm excited for it. They know I'm top three in the city regardless. One of the hardest, and I'm the hardest young turn nigga in my city. Them facts. 
Next step, you want to add your cheese on there. You want to flip the burgers, don't just put it on there. You want to you want to let it sit though for a minute so it can melt a little and it won't be real hard. When you feel like it melted a little, you gonna take it out and put it sit on your little plate. Have it ready for the side. Your next step. Now we're gonna go on here. It's time to go and put our burger together. People like mayonnaise and all that mustard with theirs. I really just like cheese, ketchup, probably a little lettuce. I don't really do the extra, extra. So now I'm gonna put a little lettuce on here. And I already got the cheese on that front, but I said the cheeseburger. Not too much lettuce. See, I like to put the I like to put the ketchup on my bun. I don't really like to put it on the burger. When I put it together, I'm gonna smash it down together. Now you got your perfect little five-star burger. Next step, we're gonna be making my special Kool-Aid. Shout out Kool-Aid McKinstry, he played for Alabama. That's my brother, he number one. Make sure y'all go get this shit, oh yeah. It already came with sugar, but I'm gonna add a little more sugar to it though. You gonna pour you a little in the top though. About one quart, a little, make two quarts. Got it right down the top for you. We're gonna add a little more sugar in there too. We're gonna pour you a little sugar in there. Just a little, cause it already came with some. Now you're gonna stir it up. Make sure you stir it real good. Now you wanna taste it, what it tastes like. Oh yeah. Yo, it's your boy Lil Heat signing off. Follow my recipe with Cinematic TV. And I just made my new heated cheeseburger just in time for my mixtape heated. Out now. Go get that, gang. Hey, this burger's so good. One of y'all gotta come try the sandwich drop. I'm gonna try the cheeseburger out. Right. Don't give me a good taste review. Don't make a mess with this sloppy burger. It's a South burger. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already know. Fast I shall. I'll get a cup.